we're regenerated with a divine and royal life to reign in life as the Lord's overcomers. In order for us as believers in Christ to reign in life to be the Lord's overcomers, we need to see that we have been regenerated with God's life, which is a divine, spiritual, heavenly, kingly, and royal life, the kingdom seed was sown into us to grow and develop until it reaches the new Jerusalem. Hallelujah! What the Lord is after today is His overcomers, those who overcome anything that replaces Christ and usurps us to have the first place in us. As believers in Christ, we are kings with Christ, priests to God, and prophets to speak the Word of God. We are born to be co-kings with Christ, we have a heavenly and royal life within us, the divine life, and this life grows in us and causes us to reign in life. The more we spend time with the Lord, contact Him, and enjoy Him in His Word, the more His life reigns within us and we reign in life. The more we receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness, the more grace reigns within us, and we reign in life. As we enjoy and experience Christ in this way, we learn Christ as the reality is in Jesus. We learn Christ in a subjective way, in our experience, and we have something of Christ constituted into our being. As we daily learn Christ, even through our failures and mistakes, we have the element of God wrought into our being and something of Christ is deposited into us. Though we may fail again and again, though we may make mistakes, we can come to the Lord to be comforted and forgiven, and we can go on with Him to enjoy Him. Then, we can comfort others with the comfort that He has comforted us with. It is so good to contact the Lord again and again, no matter how much we fail and make mistakes, for He infuses Himself into us for our encouragement and comfort. God is never discouraged, we may be discouraged because of our failures and mistakes, but God is never discouraged. When we enjoy God, we are encouraged, and when we enjoy Him, all our problems are solved. Being in the Lord's presence encourages us and solves all our problems. There may be times that we are discouraged, for we have certain expectations of ourselves and of others, and we fail again and again. But we need to remember, through these failures and then contact the Lord, He is working Himself a little more into us, and He comforts us and encourages us. The result is that we love the Lord a little more, we rely on Him a little more, and we take Him as our absoluteness. And when we meet with the saints, there's something of the comforting of God that is in us and will be dispensed into others for their comfort. Seeing that we have been regenerated with a divine, spiritual, heavenly, kingly, and royal life to reign in life. The book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible, does not focus on the church, it focuses on the overcomers, those who afford Christ a way to return to the earth, defeat Antichrist and his armies, and bring in the kingdom of God. Today the Lord is calling the overcomers, and is calling his sevenfold, no matter what situation we are in, no matter what is the condition of our local church, and no matter how bad the decline of the church is, the Lord is calling His overcomers. As those who have been shown mercy by the Lord to be in the church life in the Lord's recovery today, we need to simply say Amen to the Lord's call. However, it is not by our zeal and desire that we are made overcomers, it is nothing of ourselves or in ourselves that we can do to be produced as the Lord's overcomers. The secret is the divine life in us. It is this life that can make us more than overcomers. In order for us to reign in life to be the Lord's overcomers, we need to see that we have been regenerated with a divine, spiritual, heavenly, kingly, and royal life to reign in life. The satanic chaos is all around us, and the world situation is going worse and worse. Furthermore, the decline of the church is intensified to the extent that there's not much of Christ in the church, and there is not much of the Word of God in the meetings of the so-called churches today. Even in the church life today, it is so easy to just be in the realm of the church life, to skate on the surface of the church life and still not be an overcomer. May the Lord have mercy on us and show us that His life in us, the divine, spiritual, heavenly, kingly, and royal life with which we have been regenerated, this life can make us more than overcomers. We have been regenerated with God's life, this life is divine, uncreated, eternal, and always overcoming. The life we have been reborn with is kingly and royal, it enthrones Christ as the King in us and makes us co-kings with Christ, those who reign in life. If we simply live by this life, contact the Lord, and allow this life to grow and advance in our being, we will be brought to the stage where we reign in life by having Christ ruling and reigning in us. 1 John 3 9 says that everyone who has been begotten of God does not practice sin, because his seed abides in him, and he cannot sin, because he has been begotten of God. We are children of God, not children of the devil, we are those who have God's life and nature in us, and this life grows in us and makes us kings to reign in life. We are of God, and we have overcome the one who rules in this world because greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world, 1 John 4 4. How can we overcome? Everything that has been begotten of God overcomes the world, 1 John 5 4, the victory that overcomes the world is our faith, our organic union with the Lord. By believing into the Lord Jesus as the Son of God, we receive His divine life, 
John 1 12-13, and we overcome the evil one, 1 John 5 5. Hallelujah! May we realize that, in order for us to reign in life to be the Lord's overcomers, we have been regenerated with a divine, spiritual, heavenly, kingly, and royal life and this life makes us kings. Thank you, dear Lord, for regenerating us with a divine, spiritual, heavenly, kingly, and royal life to reign in life. Hallelujah, we have been regenerated with the life of God so that we may reign in life to be the Lord's overcomers today. Keep growing in us, Lord, and keep spreading in our inner being until we reign in life as kings with Christ. May your kingdom expand, enlarge, and increase in us. Rule and reign in us. Keep us living by the divine life in our spirit so that we may overcome the world and the one who rules in the world. Hallelujah, greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. Praise the Lord, what has been begotten in us of God overcomes the world, and our faith is our victory that has overcome the world. Lord, Amen, we believe into you as the Son of God, and you are making us your overcomers. Christ sowed himself as the seed of the kingdom into us to grow and develop as the kingdom of God into the new Jerusalem. The Lord Jesus said in Mark 4 26, so is the kingdom of God, as if a man casts seed on the earth. This seed is the seed of the divine life, one pet. 123, sown into us, the believers in Christ. The kingdom of God, which is the issue and goal of the Lord's gospel, and the church in this age, Romans 14 17, are a matter of life, the life of God, which sprouts, grows, bears fruit, matures, and produces a harvest, 1 Corinthians 3 6-9, Revelation 14 4, 15-16. The kingdom of God is not a matter of teaching, activity, organization, or merely outward rule. The kingdom of God is the triune God Himself in His incarnation, the Lord Jesus Christ, sown into His chosen people to grow and develop in them into a kingdom. The kingdom of God is Christ sowing Himself as the seed into many human beings to grow and develop into the kingdom of God consummating in the New Jerusalem. When the Lord Jesus was on earth, He told the Pharisees that He is the kingdom of God, which was among them. He Himself is the kingdom and He came to sow Himself as the seed of the kingdom, even the gene of the kingdom of God, into those who are open to Him and receive Him. He sows Himself as the seed of the kingdom so that He may grow in them, live in them, and be expressed from within them to develop into God's ruling realm. A gene is a hereditary unit that occupies a specific location on a chromosome and determines a particular characteristic in an organism. As believers in Christ, we have the gene of the processed and consummated triune God in our spirit. When we tell the Lord, Lord Jesus, grow in me, he grows in us all the characteristics in that gene so that these characteristics become ours. The intrinsic element of the entire teaching of the New Testament is that the triune God has been incarnated in order to be sown into his chosen people and develop within them into a kingdom, the kingdom of God. The goal of God is the full development of the kingdom of God. The sower went out to sow, Mark 3 14, Christ came as the sower to sow himself as the seed of the kingdom of God into our hearts through his word. Daily, as we have a personal time with the Lord, the seed of the kingdom grows in us and develops into a realm, God's ruling realm, for Him to rule and reign within us. As He shines on us, He exposes the rocks and boulders in the soil of our hearts for us to deal with, and He spreads, grows, increases, and enlarges Himself with His kingdom in us. Sometimes the soil of our heart is hard and it has rocks in it, as the Lord shines on us, He kills all the hard things, the thorns, and the hardness, and makes our heart become the good earth, the good soil, for Him to grow and develop in us. In the Gospels we have the sowing of the seed of the Kingdom of God, Mark 4 3, 14, Matt. 9 35. In Acts we have the propagation and spreading of this sowing by thousands of sowers who had received the seed, the gene, of the Kingdom of God, Acts 6 17, 12 27, 19 20. In the Epistles we see the growth of the seed of the Kingdom, 1 Corinthians 3 6, 9, 2 Pet. 1 3, 11. The harvest of this seed is found in the book of Revelation with the reaping of the first fruits and the harvest, Revelation 14 4, 15 16, Mark 4 29, Matt. 13 39. The millennial kingdom will be the uttermost development of the seed of the kingdom, the gene of the kingdom of God, with the Son of God as the King and all the overcomers as His co kings, the kingdom gene people, see Revelation 26. Hallelujah! The New Jerusalem, God's eternal kingdom, is the fullest development of the kingdom seed, the gene, sown by Jesus the Nazarene in the four Gospels, Revelation 21 2, 22 1, 3, 5, 5 10, 3 12, 11 15, 19 6, 20 6, PSA. 146 10. Hallelujah, we have been regenerated with the gene of the kingdom of God, and the kingdom is now growing in us and developing until it reaches and becomes the new Jerusalem for eternity.
May we be those who are one with the Lord to preach the gospel of the kingdom to the whole inhabited earth for the propagation and development of the seed, the gene, of the kingdom to consummate this age, Matthew 24 14. We should never forget that have the gene of the kingdom of God in us, the triune God incarnated in humanity is now the all-inclusive, life-giving, sevenfold intensified spirit to be dispensed into our spirit, to grow within us, to be expressed through us, and to be announced through us so that the gene of the kingdom of God can be dispensed into them. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for coming as the life-giving, all-inclusive, sevenfold intensified spirit to dispense yourself into our spirit as the gene of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah, we have been regenerated with God's life to receive and be part of the kingdom of God. Grow in us, Lord, and spread in our inner being as the kingdom of God. May the kingdom seed grow in us and develop within us until it reaches maturity and becomes the new Jerusalem. Amen, Lord, we allow you to rule and reign in us as you grow in us and develop in us. We are one with you to preach the gospel of the kingdom to the whole inhabited earth for the propagation and development of the seed of the kingdom of God to consummate this age. Amen, Lord, make us your overcomers in this age.